Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Heavy Rain for more point and click action. We are back where we left off, right here in the FBI agent's office, which has been set up for him at the police station. Uh, it's been about a month since I've played this game. I've been playing um, Dolores, and now we're back in this. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting back into this game, actually, because I was really enjoying it. And I felt like we were on a bit of a roll with it, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with the story. And uh, let's just jump straight back in and see what's going on. I've got to refresh my memory a little bit. Um, I remember that we we saw a bit of a press conference, didn't we, where we found out some details about the origami killer. Um, so now I guess it's a case of just chucking that on the floor. <laughs> so, um, let's sit down, I guess. Oh wait, no, I guess we're going to move the desk. Not sure where we're moving it to, against the wall perhaps? Right. Nice. So we're just setting up our office then, I guess. Uh, anything else we can interact with? Over here perhaps? Doesn't look like it, no. So let's sit down at our desk. Apparently not going to pick all that crap up off the floor. What's this? Is this the glasses? Yeah, okay. The special glasses. Step one. Change the office. Uh, and how do we do that? Oh, nice. What's that? That's water. Uh, clouds? Planets? Or, I don't know, what's that, nature? Let's go for planets. I quite like planets. Whoa! We're on Mars. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's Mars. It looks like Mars, doesn't it? That is pretty cool. So, if we do this, will it... Oh, man, that's really cool. Look at that. We're, like, on the top of a cliff or something. That is beautiful, I've got to say. Uh, what about the water one? Oh wow, we're underwater! This is amazing! I need to get me a set of these glasses, clearly. Um, right, what's this then? Is it like a little forest? Oh, that's, that's nice. Not my favourite one, to be honest. Even though I do like places like this, it's not... I don't know, it doesn't look the most relaxing to me. Oh, oh, I don't know, it's quite a tough choice, isn't it? I mean, I'm really into space stuff, so I think I'm going to go for the, the off-worldy place. Yeah, it's a good, good space to sort of get your thoughts in order, isn't it? Um, so what do we... And that clears it all? Whoa, okay. Clues? Do we just... Wow. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. This is amazing. So there's origami figure, the orchid. This is something new. Um, satellite imagery. Some sort of vehicle tracks? Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Right. So, what's this geoanalysis thing? No data for geoanalysis. Okay. Uh, so, let's look at this then. Origami figure. Paper. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go mm. on. What, can we geoanalyze this? Oh, we can, our right. Army store in town. Interesting. So it's possible the killer is buying the figures rather than actually making them? The orchid. Funeral flower and a symbol mm. of innocence. Common species. That doesn't help much. 
Right, let's see. Anything? The orchid is a wow. common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Right, so the orchid isn't going to help us out much then. Um, what's this? Right, the tire tracks. Tire is brown. Car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Okay. Right, no data on that then. So it seems like we've got a vehicle. And um, we've also potentially got an origami thing to check out. A store. Uh, what about the files? Oh, that's pretty cool. Whoa. Uh, right, let's open that, I guess. Origami killer victims. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys. Oh god, is one a child? Nine and thirteen. Oh jeez, they're all kids. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Oh god, hopefully that didn't happen Bodies to Sean. Found three to five days later. Drowned in rainwater. Jeez, okay. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. Okay. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Interesting. So, can we. Killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. Hmm. So they're all children. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, let's open up this. Always the same ritual: an origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. God. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Wow, okay. That's a lot of people questioned. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. Hmm. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. So, parts of it fit with being Ethan, but parts don't. So we're narrowing it down slightly, aren't we? Um, so let's get rid of that then. No, I didn't, I didn't want to go into that. I wanted to go back. Please don't repeat the whole thing. Uh, right, clear it. Thank you. It's pretty cool you use the controller to do all this. How do we do the thought thing? Or can we not do that here? Let's do environment. Oh, okay, that just changes the environment of here. We don't want to change that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's do the map then. So we've managed to narrow it down slightly. Uh, wait, hang on. Although our little marker for the origami shop is gone. So is that it now? Have we done? Let's close the ARI. I mean, that was seriously cool, wasn't it? Oh no. Okay. I forgot about this. He has some sort of medical condition, doesn't he? Here we go again. I better go wash my face. Uh oh. Uh. Probably not the best place I for this to, to happen. Take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. That's all right. I know. I can oh make God. It. Okay. No. Um, no, I can make it. It's made the controls somewhat difficult. 
I think we should probably take this. Maybe that was a bad idea, but... I don't know. Something tells me we should have done that. All of this you have to go with gut instinct, really, don't you? So, he's fainting as well, then. I know Ethan's more blacking out than fainting, but there's some similarities between what's happening to both of them. And I don't know if there's a reason for that. I don't know if they are actually linked. <gasps> Is that Ethan? I suppose he's reporting Sean is missing, isn't he? So are the characters going to cross over for the first time in the game? This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together Interesting for a while. Interesting that he's called Mr. Mars. And he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him and on the planet on the horses. ARI was Mars. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. Oh god, I can't remember that. It's been over a month since I played the game. <laughs> uh, god, I don't know. Uh, Five I honestly don't 30, know. I think I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. Uh, God, I don't know. Is it green? A green coat. And a pair of pants. Oh man, I should have been paying more attention to this stuff, shouldn't I? Were they brown? I don't know. Brown pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Uh, I honestly can't remember. I... I can't remember exactly. It all happened so fast. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I reckon we'd be, um... I, honest. I don't know. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. Oh, I thought that was going to be more about, like, a panic right. attack. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. I really hope the fact that we didn't know... Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if oh, it is I really hope so. Killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Yeah, I really hope the fact we didn't know what he was wearing is not gonna have an effect on whether we can get to him in time. Really hope not. Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they? Do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. Yeah, it is a possibility. Hopefully it isn't, but what you never know. Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? I feel Wasn't like we should be honest. Jason? Rather than hiding things. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was a bit harsh. He has pretty much lost two of them, hasn't he? <laughs> Let's be honest. The first one wasn't really massively his fault, but... I mean, you could say the second maybe wasn't as well. Right, unfold the movement slowly with the right stick. So maybe it's telling us that for a reason. 
So we're back to playing as this guy then, the little private investigator guy. Tuesday 9.52pm, 1.394 inches of rain. Uh, okay. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. I mean, what are we doing here? Do we need... Do we actually... Is he spying in that window? Do we actually need some shopping or are we here for some questions? Oh. <laughs> what, who's emptied crisps all over the floor, man? Someone's making a mess of your store. I mean... Probably shouldn't go into staff only, right? Because that doesn't seem like the type of place we should go, because I doubt we're staff here. <laughs> so, um, perhaps we talk to... to this guy, see what he wants. Right, okay, let's talk to this dude. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby, I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. Oh, I, I see. Say. So... Let's say about saving Sean. The killer Sean. has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa. I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Now. Well, you're just please, gonna ignore everyone else's kids. On, uh, let's sympathize. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out and at least I won't go away completely empty handed. In the back of this door to the right. Thanks. Right, so I feel like we could potentially go into that room by going up here, but I don't really want to do that. I feel like that would be a bad thing to do. Asthma inhaler. Good evening, sir. This guy's up to no good. Straight away you can see that. It's going to rob the place or something. For something in particular? Give me what you got in the register. Yeah, I knew it. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Okay, Shit, so what we one. don't want to do... Are you going to open that fucking register or not? No, sir. ...is walk over those crisps. Just right remember, they're down that aisle. So actually, it's quite lucky that we went down that aisle, I think. You say? You're out of your fucking mind, man. You don't get it, do you? I'm gonna put right, a fucking slowly get to this. If you don't do what I say now, you shall not be robbing my register, sir. That money is mine. I ask you now to leave before it is too late. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Goddamn it! Quick time Open event. Don't make me fucking kill you. Whew. No, sir. That I cannot do. I'll waste you, man. I ain't joking. I swear to God, man. I'll blow your fucking brains out. Don't turn around. Fuck! Drop it! I did what it now. said, but it didn't work. Don't move! Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! Okay, we'll put the hands up. The other guy is conscious. Uh, reason. Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. Uh, haven't a chance. Name calm. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. No, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. Uh, let's ask for his name. Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Right, we're edging closer. 
Um, help. You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Uh, effective. Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? Yeah, a little girl. This is hurting my fingers holding these butters down. I got a little girl. Her name is Jessica. What would Jessica think if she saw you here? Ask yourself. Oh what god, this is horrible. Uh, nothing serious. I think you're making the biggest oh, no, I didn't mean to press square. Life. Pull that trigger. I promise you. You'll regret it. Yeah? <laughs> I think you're the one who's really gonna regret it. Okay. Nice try. For a second, done it wrong. I pressed the wrong button. Shit. And now, give me the money. I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three. Damn it. It looked like it was square. I don't understand. Oh, jeez. I wish I had lived long enough to look into the eyes of the man who killed my race. I'm too much anger here. Well, we screwed that one up. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, that's the first one we screwed up. I don't understand when we were sneaking up on him why it didn't go to plan. Because I did what it said with the controller. But yeah, we got that one wrong, didn't we, guys? I mean, it was never going to be a perfect run, was it? Let's be honest. It wouldn't be me playing it if it was. Um, but, yeah, that's really annoying. Because I was actually getting through to him as well. Right, Wednesday, 2.44 a.m., 1.564 inches of rain. I'm really gutted about that. <gasps> Alright, so is this another new character then? Okay then, so I think that's probably where we will leave it then for this episode, because we are pretty much out of time. Um, yeah, I'm so annoyed that I pressed the wrong button there. I was doing so well as well with that. I think we probably could have got that gun off him, but, you know, it's done now. I'm not going to do any cheating, no editing stuff out or anything and going back. We're just going to have to live with the decisions we've made. Um, but yeah, we made a bad one there, which is a shame. But... There's still way more to do in this game, I'm sure. And we can hopefully recover it. And that is going to do it for this episode, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.